Hey everyone, it's Chris Newman from the spreadsheetguru.com. Today we are going to be looking at how to use the custom tick mark feature in the tick mark add-in. We'll go over some tips and best practices and get those custom ticks up and running for you. There are a bunch of things you can do to create custom tick marks. We're going to go over a couple different methods. Uh, first, we're going to try using icons. So we can go to insert, go to icons, and we'll grab a couple icons here and throw those on the spreadsheet. See, we've got two right here. Uh, I will change the color. Maybe brand these a little bit. And I'm gonna leave them big, so I'm gonna leave them at this size for right now. And all we need to do to get these into our tick mark add-in is select one, go to the tick mark tab, and I'm gonna go to more in the custom tick manager. And you're gonna see there's a bunch of placeholders for up to 30 custom ticks that you can store in this add-in. I'm going to pick the first one. I'm going to give it a name of time sensitive. I am not going to display the name on the ribbon. I won't give this one a description. And then for the ribbon icon, I can either mirror the image. I can pick a generic icon or I can have none. I'm going to do mirror for this one. And all I need to do is hit the create button. And you'll see that will pop up right in the ribbon. And if I go and select these two cells and hit the button, you'll see it'll pop that right in there. Now in my settings, I have a little section down here for the custom ticks and I'm using the cell height to adjust the height. If I unclick that and save that setting, and go back and click it, it's going to be the exact same size as what I saved. Uh, so that is something to note. If you plan on putting these ticks next to cell values, I always recommend using the use cell height as a default uh, just to get the, the sizing right for your tick mark. Or if you want it a particular size, just resize it to how you want it to default from uh, the get go. So I'll go in here and select this next one. I'll add this bullseye. I'll just select the next uh, placeholder. We'll call this target. And I will mirror that one as well. Hit create. And you see that one goes in there as well. So that's how you can use the icons. There's lots of icons built in Excel now in the newer versions that you can utilize to make all sorts of nice tick marks uh, from that perspective. The next most common uh, request for custom ticks is to make more of these uh, abbreviated ticks. So I'm going to go over my preferred method on how to build those. And what we're going to do to start, we're going to insert a text box. And I'm going to do abbreviation for manager. So MGR. And that's going to be our, our tick. And I'm going to make this uh, a little bit bigger. I'm actually going to use a different font. So I'm going to use this font right here to give it a little bit more weight. And I will center that. And I'm just going to make the font a darker gray. And then also, I will get rid of the fill color and the outline color. So you can see right here, that is my tick. And I'm gonna try to minimize the white space uh, with this as much as possible. And to get the most out of reducing the white space, I'm gonna go to Format Shape, and I'm gonna go to Text Options, and zero out all the margin. So you can see there, I can get in nice and tight with that text box. And I am going to just get rid of my grid lines so it's nicer to see back here so I have that white background. 
And I can select this and add this to my custom ticks as well. So I'll just call this uh, manager. And the description will be manager approved item. And I will create that. And you'll notice something with this that on the text box, it doesn't really um, size very well when it goes to mirror that icon. And that's because the text wraps when we try to go down to a real small size. And that's one thing that's unfortunate with Excel is the uh, text will not auto resize as you reduce the text box. So to get around this, I recommend getting in nice and tight, copying that text and then pasting it as a picture. So if I can go to the paste special, paste as a picture, and now I can resize that to any size and it's not gonna wrap. I always prefer using pictures over the text box. The downside with this is you can't change the text uh, color later on or any of the formats. It's kind of stuck as a picture. Um, so that's, that's not important to you. I always prefer using the picture. So if I go back here and we go here and override that manager, you'll see the, the picture's a lot better. Now, one other thing you can do since this is really tiny and hard to uh, see is you can go back to this text box and abbreviate it even further. So maybe I just want this to be M for manager. And I'll go in here make this nice and tight. I will paste that as a picture as well. So it's gonna look like that when it shrinks down. And this will be a little this will be a little bit tricky, but we'll get it done. So I'm gonna I'm gonna essentially apply this image as the button for this. And in order to do that, I'm gonna add it as its own custom tick. So I'll just call this manager temp for now. And I'll go ahead and create that. And you see we have that nice M there. And what we're gonna actually do is go into the tick mark backup file. Uh, so you can get there by either going into your developer tab, going to Excel add-ins and going to browse. And that will kind of bring up your add-ins folder where you should have a folder saved called tick mark add in icons. Um, so you can click in here and copy that address and then open up a Windows uh, Explorer window. And you can see I have lots of junk because I have a ton of different add ins I've worked on over the years. So yours might be a little bit cleaner than this, but I'm going to go into this tick mark add ins icons and you will see all the icons that are appearing in the ribbon. And you'll notice they're all named custom tick 01, 02, 03, and 04. So what I can do actually is I can delete this one and copy my M and rename that to three. Now spelling is going to be very key for this. So make sure you have it in a precise format as the other images. So no extra spaces, no extra words. Uh, so we have custom tick two going to three and we've got that M right there. So I can uh, close out of this and go back to tick mark. And I'm just gonna delete this temporary one that we created. I'll delete that. Yes, I'll close out of there. And you can see the ribbon refreshed after I deleted that and we now have that M, but the M is populating the manager. So hopefully that gives you a bunch of ideas on how to get those custom tick marks into the add-in. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave comments below the video and I will try to work with you to get those ticks in the add-in just the way you want them. Thanks for watching.